Hello everyone and welcome to this guitar tutorial for the song Four Seasons by Rex Orange County. So a bit of disclaimer first, I'll be playing this song as accurate and as close to its original audio as possible, as well as playing it as simple as possible so that more of you guys will be able to follow. But before we begin, please do not forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell down below so that you guys will be able to stay updated for my future videos. And if you guys would like me to teach anything else, just comment it down below as well. And I'll try to do it for you. So yeah, without any further ado, let's just go and jump right into it. Okay, so before I teach you guys the chord progressions that we're going to use in this song, I would just like to discuss with you the chords that we're going to use throughout this entire song, which are going to be these ones right here. So first up is going to be the C major 7 chord, it's going to be like this, and that's going to be the 3rd fret on the A string, 5 on the D string, 4 G string, 5 B string, and as for the low and the high E strings, it's not going to be included or dead strings in this case. Yep. The next stop is going to be the E7 chord, it's going to be like this. And to do this chord, basically we're going to be using our index finger to bar the entire 7th fret, starting from the 8th string down to the high E string. And as for the rest of the chord shape, it's going to be the 9th fret on the D string, as well as the 9th fret on the B string. Yep, so all in all it's going to be 7, 9, 7, 9, 7, with the lower E string not included or dead string in this case. So next up is going to be the A minor 7 chord, which is going to be like this. And that's going to be 5, dead string, 5, 5, 5, then another dead string and the high E string. Yep. The next stop is going to be the E minor 7 chord, which is going to be like this. And to do this chord, basically we're going to be using our index finger once again to bar the entire 7th fret, starting from the A string down to the high E string. And as for the rest of the chord shape, it's going to be the 9th fret on the D string, as well as the 8th fret on the B string. Yep, so it's going to be 7, 9, 7, 8, 7, with the lower E string not included, or dead string in this case as well. Yep, the next stop is going to be the F minor 7 chord, which is basically just this exact same chord shape, but we're just going to be moving it from the 7th fret up to the 8th fret. Yep, so that's going to be 8, 10, 8, 9, 8, with the lower E string not included again, or the dead string in this case. The next stop is going to be the A sharp major 7 chord, it's going to be like this. And to do this chord, it's going to be 6, dead string, 7, 7, 6, with a dead string or not included for the high E string. Yep. The next stop is going to be the D sharp major 7 chord, which is going to be like this. And to do this chord, we're going to be pressing the 6th fret on the A string, 8th fret on the D string, 7th fret on the G string, 8th fret on the B string. And as for the low and high E strings, these are not going to be included, or dead strings in this case as well. Yep. The next stop is going to be the D7 chord, which is going to be like this. And to do this chord, basically we're going to be using our index finger to bar the entire 5th fret, starting from the A string down to the high E string. And as for the rest of the chord shape, it's going to be 7th fret on the D string, as well as the 7th fret on the B string. Yep, so all in all it's going to be 5, 7, 5, 7, 5 with the lower E string being a dead string or not included in this case as well. Yep. The next stop is going to be the G major 7 chord, which is going to be like this. And that's going to be basically the 3rd fret on the lower E string, dead string here, 4, 4, 3, then as for the high E string, it's also going to be a dead string or not included as well. Yep. The next stop is going to be the B7 chord, which is going to be like this. And as for this chord, it's going to be the 7th fret on the lower E string, 10th string on the A string, 7th fret on the D string, 8th fret on the G string, 7th fret on the B string. And as for the high E string, this is also going to be a dead string or not included in this case as well. Yep. Then lastly, it's going to be the G sharp minor 7 flat 5 chord, which is going to be like this. That's going to be 11, 12, 11, 12, with the low and the high E strings not included or dead strings as well. Yep, so all in all, it's going to be the C major 7 chord, E7, A minor 7, E minor 7, F minor 7, A sharp major 7 chord, D sharp major 7 chord, D7, G major 7, B7, and lastly, it's going to be the G sharp minor 7 flat 5 chord. And as for the plucking pattern of the song, we're going to use this one right here. Yep, and to do this, it's going to be like this. 
Yep, just like that. So a bit more detail, what we're going to do is to first pluck the bass string, which could either be the lower E string or the A string, depending on the root note of the chord that you're playing at the time, along with the D, G, and the B strings all together. So it's going to be like this. Yep, that's just going to be the D, G, and the B strings. Then slapping it. Then again, bass, D, G, B strings. D, G, B strings. And then slapping it. Yep, so all in all, it's going to be bass, D, G, B, D, G, B. Slapping it, bass DGB, DGB, then slapping it. And so with that said, that entire plucking pattern is going to be worked for four whole counts for each chord that you're going to play in this song. So first up, I'm going to demonstrate to you guys the intro section of the song. So let's get to it. So first chord that we're going to play is going to be the C major 7 chord for 4 counts, which is going to be like this. Yep. The next stop is going to be the E7 chord for 4 counts. A minor 7 chord for 4 counts. E minor 7 chord for 2 counts. So it's just going to be the half of the plucking pattern. Then we're moving on to the F minor 7 chord for 2 counts. Yep, so all in all again, it's going to be like this. E7, A minor 7, E minor 7, F minor 7. And once you've got that all sorted out, we're now moving on to the first verse of this song now. So next up, I'm going to demonstrate to you guys the first verse of this song. So let's get to it. Yep, so for this section of the song, the first chord that we're going to play is going to be the C major 7 chord once again for 4 counts. Then E7 chord. A minor 7 chord. E minor 7 chord for 2 counts. F minor 7 chord for 2 counts. Yep. Then once again, we're going to be repeating that entire chord progression, starting from the C major 7 chord up to the F minor 7 chord for 2 counts one more time. So again, C major 7 chord, E7, A minor 7, E minor 7, F minor 7. Yep, the next stop is once again going to be the C major 7 chord for 4 counts. E7 for 4 counts, A minor 7 for 4 counts, then the A sharp major 7 chord for 4 counts. Yep, the next stop is going to be the D sharp major 7 chord for 4 counts. Then once again, it's going to be the A sharp major 7 chord for 4 counts. Now again, we're going to be repeating that particular part of the chord progression, starting from the D-sharp major 7 chord up to the A-sharp major 7 chord for two more times. So once again, it's going to be like this, D-sharp major 7 chord, A-sharp major 7 chord, last one. Yep, then again, it's going to be the D-sharp major 7 chord for four counts. And lastly, it's going to be the D7 chord for 8 counts. One more. So again, from the top, it's going to be like this. E minor 7, F minor 7, C major 7. Seven chord for eight counts. 
And there you have it. That's going to be your first verse for this song. So next up, I'm going to be showing you guys the second verse of this song. I'm not really that much of a rapper, but I'll try my best. So let's go have a look. Four seasons, they fly by and I cry. Usually in the evening, before I call myself and start sleeping. And I'm sleeping, cause it's weekends like a Monday to me. This stays behind a part work, so I'm getting Red Bull for free. And I'm so bored of being awkward, I hit my head against the door. All night you made me much less awkward, I'm not so awkward anymore. And I'm flying back to LA, and I can't wait for her to see. And I'm not from the first class, but I should like a steeper seat, so. Just for me, see if I can go down an ounce of pain, down an ounce of pain. So first up, we're going to do a G major seven chord for four counts, which is going to be like this. Then a B seven chord for four counts. Then an E minor seven chord for four counts. Then a B seven chord for two counts. Then a G sharp minor 7 flat 5 chord for 2 counts. Yep. And after that, we're going to be repeating that entire chord progression for 2 more times. So it's going to be like this. B7 E minor 7 B7 G sharp minor 7 flat 5 Last one. And with that said, that's going to be your second verse for this part of the song. So next up is going to be the third verse of this song. So let's get to it. Now that you're around, I pray you don't go. And we don't even need to mention all the things that matter. Anything you stress about, just tell me why your day was good and love me after hours. Now that you're around, I pray you don't go. Cause since you made me social, I'm no longer eating so low. So thank you, thanks, bro. The red shirt, front row, sweatshirt. This young me playing Erica, Afro, way back, back when I would have worn a snap back, but fuck that. And I hate myself for what I'm about to say It's time to get away I'll find a spot that's just for me See if I can go without an ounce of pain Without an ounce of pain So this section of the song is trickier compared to the previous ones But let's get to it So first up is going to be the G major 7 chord for 4 counts Which is going to be like this The next up is going to be the B7 chord for 4 counts. It's going to be the E minor 7 chord for 4 counts. So after that tap on that plucking pattern, what I want you to do is to tap it for 3 more times. It's kind of like this. 1, 2, 3. Then doing it like this. So again, it's going to be G major 7 chord for 4 counts. B7 chord for 4 counts. E minor 7 chord for 4 counts. Tapping it for 3 more times. We don't even need to mention. Yep, kind of like that. All the things that matter, anything is pressing about. Yep, so again, it's going to be the G major 7 chord for 4 counts, B7 chord for 4 counts, E minor 7 chord, B7 chord, G sharp minor 7 flat 5. Then again, it's going to be the G major 7 chord for 4 counts. B7 chord for 4 counts E minor 7 chord for 4 counts 
E7 chord for two counts. That's going to be the G sharp minor 7 chord flat 5 for two counts. So again, from the top, it's going to be the G major 7 chord for four counts. B7. B minor 7. I'll just tell me why it was good and love me after hours. Yep. B7. Then this one right here. B7. E minor 7. B7. B7, then this one right here. And once we've got that all sorted out, we're now moving on to the refrain part of this song now. So lastly, I'm going to demonstrate to you guys the refrain section of this song. So let's get to it. Said a likelihood just frightens me, it's easier to hide. But I can't ignore it endlessly, eventually things die. If only he remember my name. Final time. I said a likelihood just frightens me, and it's easier to hide. But I can't ignore it endlessly, eventually things die. If only he remember my name. One final time. All the things that matter, or anything is stressing about, just tell me why it was good and love me after hours. Not a chore or run a prayer, you don't. Since you made me social, I'm no longer eating solo Said the likelihood just frightens me, it's easier to hide But I can't ignore it endlessly, eventually things die If only he remember my name one final time So for this part of the song, basically it's going to be the G major 7 chord first for 4 counts C major 7 chord for 2 counts B7 chord for 2 counts C major 7 chord for 2 counts B7 chord for 2 counts That's going to be the A minor 7 chord for 2 counts And D7 chord for 2 counts Yep, then after that we're going to be repeating that entire chord progression Starting from the G major 7 chord up to the D7 chord for 3 more times So once again it's going to be like this C major 7, B7, C major 7, B7, A minor 7, D7, yep, again, C major 7, B7, A minor 7, Again, A minor 7, D7, and to finish it off, we're going to play the G major 7 chord. Yep, you could do it like this, or like this. It's up to you and your preference when it comes to playing this song. So, yeah, this is the end of the guitar tutorial. Thank you guys for watching this part of the video. Please leave a like if you've enjoyed it so that I'll know. And please once again do not forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell down below so that you guys will be able to stay updated for my future videos. So if you guys would like me to teach you anything else, just comment it down below as well. And I'll try to do it for you. And if you guys would like to watch my other guitar tutorials, just click these ones right here. It's all good. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.